get started. It is 9.27. Market is going to open in about three minutes. Let's do a quick market review. Markets from yesterday down quite a bit. And inflation news came in and it was higher uh, than expected, right? So that means market obviously is going to dump. Inflation news goes up, means the market is growing um, <coughs> faster than the value of the actual market. No banana? Okay. Put that in your corner. I didn't make a banana. Um, and so with that, you can almost expect the Fed to raise interest rates. The raising of interest rates is going to kill growth on stocks uh, because now it's nope, put it flat. Yeah, now it's more expensive to borrow money. Um, and then you're going to have investors moving into uh, bonds and other types of securities there, which removes money from equities, right? So compound of different things there, which is why we see a pretty big downturn in the market. Uh, we were at like 414 on the SPY. You want banana? Okay, 414 on the SPY. Right now we're at 411. <clears throat> a three-point drop on the SPY is pretty pretty significant. Uh, I took some puts yesterday. Those puts should be paying up pretty big right now. And also I spoke about the liquidity test, which is coming up on Thursday for a lot of funds which means they're going to meet, need to be selling up quite a bit of their long positions to raise cash, right, to make sure they're liquid. <clears throat> and, and that's why we've been taking puts this week. <clears throat> so 9.30, let's see what we get. Pretty much the action for this week, guys, is is hold cash if you can. Um, if you want to get involved with the market, pick up some puts. Otherwise, uh, there's really no need to be going into a long position just yet until we find the bottom. Quite a bit of shares have been borrowed to be shorted on GameStop this morning, ETFs as well as direct shares, so expect a fairly significant um, attack. <clears throat> Puts from yesterday already up 45%. I'll be watching here for this break. If this is a clean break upwards, I'm going to sell and take profit. So there's that break, so I'm selling, taking some profit. <coughs> so uh, overall about 30%. And I'll roll it into other puts if the market continues to go down. Yeah, buddy, yeah, there you go. You know what? You want to die hold it for you? Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Just watching the market here, as I was mentioned, interest rates, right? We got the 10-year U uh, U.S. Treasury spiking up this morning on news of inflation heating up the sector. Mm -hmm. A bit of a spike here. I'm going to buy a 410 put. As it falls. So pretty much took profit on my 414 put. And then now I'm buying a 410 put for this Friday. <clears throat> and then if we break below these lows here, I'm going to add to my puts. Otherwise, I'm just going to buy it. <clears throat> get some skin in the game as we see uh, resistance right here as we get to these levels. AMC, I think, might be a good play moving into tomorrow's liquidity test. <clears throat> I'm going to buy a... Uh, I'll buy a one ten dollar call on it right now. 
Mm. Just one call. Get some skin in the game. Tell Daddy you make a poo poo. I'll be right back, guys. Uh, Spy looked like it's trying to make a bounce here, but still hasn't been able to pass these highs here. Uh, I'm going to take another put at this level, I think. Just give me a second. Uh, I'm going to hold off for now as we were holding above the VWAP. I'll be right back. That changed the diaper. Come on, buddy. You got his nose, but.
it looks like we're going to break through here. I'm going to add to my puts by a 410 put at this level. <clears throat> Getting a little bit of a bounce as we touch that support line. It looks like we're going to break through. We got a really, really long tailing wick up at the top on the last candle, which is just basically a lower high from the last candle there, uh, forming a flat bottom. So this is the re reverse of the play we usually make, right? Normally when we're bullish, we're going long. We want to play a flat top breakout. Right here, what we see is a, a flat bottom breakdown. Let me go, <coughs> So we have a flat bottom right here, and then we have tailing, tailing woods connecting off the top there. We don't play one anymore. Everything's over there. Is that breakdown? <coughs> we need to break below this level right here, which is pretty much. Four, four, ten, ninety. Some tailing wicks here off the top of the ten-year inflation. I mean, ten-year treasury. Hmm? Where did my fibs go? It's here in the. Uh -huh. Let's save. Little fibs. Uh, what in the world? When I switch to the five minute, the fibs disappear. Uh, when I'm on the hourly, the fibs are still here. It's fine. I'll just watch it on the hourly then. Rejection right off the fib here on the hourly. <clears throat> so on the spot, got a flat bottom right here. And then we have descending. right there overall on AMC we see an, a nice ascending trend here that's what I like to see over the past couple of days so taking a position around ten dollars seems to be a safe position <clears throat> If SPY pops up to here, I'll add to my puts. If SPY breaks above this line, I will get out. If I see AMC come down to the $10 mark, there we go. Fib's still in play. I want to add to my calls just down here. little back and forth right now uh, but overall I think the market will be coming down today we are higher than normal uh, inflation and then tomorrow we have the liquidity test Tesla trying to bounce off the VWAP. We got a game moving up a bit. Buy another AMC at this level.
Five trying to make a move. Everything is bouncing a bit right now. Tailing with off the top of this level here on Tesla previously. So this level acting as a resistance right now. Tesla breaking above. Pre-market pivot here at 620. Adding to my puts here on the SPY. And then if we break above that line, I'm going to be getting out. Hey buddy, you need a beach ball? Okay, your mama says you have to go clean up buddy. A little bit of rejection here as we get to the line. Let's see what happens. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, thanks, buddy. Getting ready to sell if we break. Tesla is looking very strong right now. Uh, with the spy not as strong but remember yesterday we had tesla lead and then the spy follow hi buddy you know every book by yourself so Tesla getting stuck here as we approach this level of resistance, right? We have pre-market pivot here at 620. We pretty much went all the way up to 619 and came back down. Let's have a this book. I So we got tailing with off the top of that triangle there on the spy. looking for the same thing on the spy right we need to break through that bottom uh, which is that yellow line there if it breaks through uh, we are gonna get a nice move down to 410 right now the VWAP and the blue line acting as resistance as it tries to make its way back up and it's just pushing it down right now it's a very nice move um, right we added at this line here to our puts and now we're coming down. You talking to me babe?
watching AMC here. AMC looks like it's trying to bounce off the VWAP. I'm going to give it a second for this candle to close out. We've got three minutes left on this candle. If we hold above that VWAP, I'm going to add to my position on AMC. some tailing wicks at the bottom here in the spy. Again, test this 620 mark. So we have TQs trying to push, Tesla pushing. Mm -hmm. We have the spy uh, being the weakest out of these. Yeah, buddy, basketball. Later, not now. Always trading. So we're getting a lower high here on Tesla. So selling pressure coming in a lot sooner than the last candle here. No, not now, buddy. We don't watch basketball now. We can watch after, though, okay? We can watch basketball after. You have to wait. You have to eat your breakfast first. Then afterwards, we can watch some basketball. No, this is the guy. Where's your milk? I don't know where it is, buddy. You leave it somewhere? AMC looks like it's holding this area here. I'm going to add to my call. Thank you. You eat, buddy. You eat. So just watching the spy here. So the spy is diverging from Tesla, or Tesla is diverging from the spy actually. Uh, <laughs> so Tesla trying to push up, spy trying to push down. So a lot of those economy reopening plays now are getting hammered. You don't want this? Gotta eat it. Okay, your hands first, buddy. Go get your milk, buddy. Mm. Where's your milk? Where do you leave it? Is this milk out there with you, babe? Yeah. Oh, it's all done? Yeah. Okay, Dad, get you some more. Watching for a flat bottom breakdown here, guys. Watch for the spot. Tesla, Tesla popping. 
uh, and the spike coming down. So the Tesla diverging from the spy this morning. Let's see if we have any news on Tesla. See what the TQs are doing. TQs possible change of trend here. Uh, it really depends on what this candle does. Just back and forth here. Hi. Mm -hmm. Can you bank it? Can you bank it, Daddy? Okay. Uh, so Tesla, I mean not Tesla, the spy is fighting uh, that bottom yellow line there, trying to stay away from it. But it seems like we're going to break down. We're getting longer and longer tailing widths off the top. And we're getting lower highs. What Ooh. Tesla coming down off the top there. A little bit of a, a push. Maybe some shorts are covering. I can watch them up. Okay. Still waiting for the spy to break this bottom here. Still holding up. We got. Alright, we got the TQs coming down, just broke the low of the last 5 minute candle. We got AMC still trying to hold this area here, which is the VWAP. AMC on the hourly still showing a long term uptrend there, so I'm going to be holding as long as that uptrend stays intact. And that line is right here, right? That yellow line that we drew in earlier this morning. news in terms of Tesla I don't think this price on Tesla can be sustained uh, we do have higher highs on these candles here higher lows but we see volume dropping off tech index coming down AMC is holding we got gain a little bit lower than yesterday's close uh, looks like it wants to come down again rejected from this blue line and the yellow line here now AMC um, short interest rate, right? In the rate to borrow is like 70 something percent, which is crazy. Which is now I'm kind of taking a liking to AMC uh, because the short AMC it costs you 70 percent a year, which is nuts. Tesla looks like it's trying to break down here. The SPY also looking like it's trying to break down. We got that next candle starting off much lower than the last candle and very very close ah, to that bottom floor here of the yellow line. TQ is breaking down as well. This pivot here, 980, is going to be key. If this breaks, we're going to test this yellow line down here. This was the line that we were targeting from the beginning um, for their original uptrend. Uh, we talked about that sometime last week. Ooh, SPY breaking that yellow line, coming down. We might see a bounce right here, which is 410. And then 409 is the next fib down here, 409.30. 409, actually, 409.17 is that next level of the fib. Hey, buddy. Up 20% on the calls that I just picked up today. 
and then sold uh, my, I mean the calls, the puts that I bought today and then sold my puts from yesterday for a 30% profit uh, at this morning's open. Hi buddy. So from yesterday I had 414 puts. Uh, those paid off handsomely this morning as we opened around 411 and then this morning uh, throughout this area here I bought a whole bunch of 410 puts um, which are paying off now. <coughs> Bless you buddy. 24% up on those puts. Hi <laughs> silly guy. TQs, if we break 980, that's going to be really bearish for the entire market. We just broke. see the spy following I expect Tesla to break these support lines here out of everything right now the AMC pretty much is holding this level Getting a little bit of a bounce. So Tesla actually bouncing from these levels here. I expected a, a breakthrough as the whole market was coming down. And then the whole market just paused and bounced. I don't think that bounce is going to last. I think we're going to break through these levels here. Probably break below this level here today. Coming back up, we're going to need to break this yellow line. This yellow line is going to act as a resistance to us now. So it's going to be harder coming up than it is going down. TQ's having, uh, just hanging out at this point here. 90, 80. This level here acting as a support and a resistance right now. Just hanging out around 10 15, 10 16. That's right, buddy. That's mama. That's baby. She's saying, Put your toys away. Time to clean up. And baby's like, But I want to bring all these toys with us when we go. And mama said, You can only bring one bag. The dinosaur. So she put everything into the bag and then they jumped on it to make the bag smaller and smaller. Ooh, the spy breaking back into that triangle there. Now what I want to see is it get rejected off of this blue line and this area here. A lot of resistance here. We've got the blue line, we've got an orange line, we've got a yellow line, we've got this VWAP here. It's going to take a lot of fine pressure to push this up. But what we see it's a very very low volume so this bounce here is actually fairly unsustainable because there's there's no volume behind it oh we see AMC Bloop. nice little pump 
Uh-huh. You need milk? Where's your milk, buddy? Do you leave it out there? Okay, let's go get it. Let's go get your milk. So don't get faked out by low volume bounces. The AMC pop, ooh, AMC popping. This is a pretty high volume bounce, right? We got more volume coming in. So this spike here is sustained by this large buy candle. And so AMC, we started taking a position this morning because Look at this nice uptrend on the hourly, right? Over the past couple of days here, up, 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 up. Higher lows, higher highs, forming a flat top breakout, kind of at this level. Right here, kind of like a flat top breakout. And then we have another area of resistance up here where we hit yesterday pre-market. But we can see AMC trying, trying to reach all the way up there. Uh, volume picking up here on this buy, on this buy. Hmm. So I'm six, actually only six percent up on my spy puts, uh, but sixteen percent up now on my AMC calls. AMC really, really strong candle here. Nice full candle on the way up so we're getting a little bit of a flat top here and game right just right across here sending support so the AMC using this breakout as a support now this breakout line, let's see if we can hold above it. Ooh, just fell below. AMC looking good as we, we're moving into liquidation. Um, the liquidity test for tomorrow. Hedgies are short a lot of a lot of stocks out there, right? GameStop is one, AMC is one. Um, yeah, so for the liquidation tomorrow, uh, these stocks might get a nice bump. And their long positions might eat like a, a big dump. But Tesla coming down here, telling it's off the top. Looks like we're going to break this bottom. Just holding all my positions here. Puts on the spy, calls on AMC. So spy continually getting rejected here by this blue. So we just have to be patient for this breakdown here. <coughs> I am bless you, buddy. Mm -hmm. mm. <coughs> Getting a little bit of a low volume push here.
Tesla breaking down. What's up, buddy? I'm gonna sit up here. Are gonna get you your milk? Are you gonna get you your pancakes? And then you sit with daddy. Okay, okay, buddy. Up. Spot. Trying to break down here. Let's see what happens. We got a low volume sell off. So we got low volume pump, low volume sell off. Right now the market doesn't know which way to go, uh, but if we're looking at previous signs here, all this high volume is a sell off, right? trying to push we just broke this flat top right here let's see if we can break over this yellow line so we have AMC holding this fib which was a previous resistance right we hit this fib came down got rejected bounced off this support line here and then we finally broke above and now we're using this fib as a support line I like that real good show of strength here that we're holding this fib between uh, I don't know what is this turquoise green to mossy green I like it hmm hmm we got spy breaking down here right this is the flat bottom breakdown um, and then we got a little bit of a rever reversal on very low volume now we're coming down here we need to break the low here which is 1034 uh, and then we'll probably test this down here, which is 9, 920, 40920. Yeah. Right, you want blanket? Okay. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, this is here. Okay. Good job, buddy. You want some pancake? Mm. No? You don't want pancake? AMC looking good, consolidating right under this breakout point. Let's check out Chipotle, Square, QS, Tesla. Tesla forming a downward channel here, guys. Peppa. Peppa. Hello. Hello. Um. Um. So forming something like this on Tesla right now. Hey. Hey, buddy. So we should get a bounce here and move back up to the top of the channel. Just kind of bounce around here for the next little while. Uh, if we break out of this channel, we'll probably flat bottom here. Previous level. Otherwise, descending. Flat bottom break down here. There we go, right? There's that little bit of a bounce as it touches this ye yellow line here. Let's see if we can break above. Looks like we are. We are consolidating right under this area here of resistance. So that shows there's demand for the stock at this level, and eventually buyers will beat out the sellers and they should move up Tesla trying to hold this area let's see back and forth along the bottom of this channel game very very low volume on game uh, there's pretty much no shares to buy you want more corn? 
First, you have to have some pancake. Have a pancake? Yeah, that's peanut butter. You like peanut butter, buddy? Yeah, eat a piece. Um, you can have some milk with that. It's a little bit dry, right? Good job, buddy. Mmm, tasty, right? No more? No more? No? All done, pancake? No more corn? Okay, wait, buddy, clean your fingers and then we can get some more corn, okay? Or do you want pomegranate? You want some pomegranate? You want corn or pomegranate? Okay, let's go see what you want. I'll be right back, guys. Um, Kind of the same thing. Watch out for the spy here. Tweezer bottom. We might get a small reversal to the top side. But we still need to break above that yellow line. That yellow line will act as resistance to us now. So we might get a small reversal. Watch for volume to back the reversal. If there's no volume, it's just going to fall right back down. I'll be right back. Okay, Okay, we're back. Spy is still struggling, tailing wig off the bottom, tweezer bottom. Uh, right now, kind of a medium volume push compared to the other candles, right? We've got a little bit of a green, uh, but the sell offs are much bigger in terms of volume there. Got rejected right off this line, right? Touched the yellow, came back down. So previous support becomes new resistance. Tesla breaking out of this channel here. Watch out for a downward movement towards this level here in the yellow. So pretty much when Tesla broke this yellow, we're probably going to come down to this yellow. Game, watch out for a reversal here, right? Lower highs. AMC, nice little break above this yellow line here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you'll play by yourself a little bit, Daddy's still working, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pick up some patterns here that we can make plays off of. on the TQ is really really tight downward channel on the spy ooh, you broke over this yellow line not much volume here I'm not too worried just yet we might just get rejected right off this blue line here yeah daddy's busy you wanna watch you can watch daddy work or you have to play by yourself yeah where's your ball your ball's right there See, we get a rejection here right off the blue. 
Got Tesla holding this yellow line. Very low, low volume move here. If you want, you can take a put right here. It's probably going to reverse right back down. Watch for volume pick up. If volume picks up, we might have a real reversal here. Otherwise, we're just heading down. A little bit of a pop as people cover their shorts. And then it should just have sell pressure right off. Ooh, so we broke this candle here. We're trying to break this candle. Right now, we're getting rejected by this yellow line, which is the view up. We have multiple confluence here acting as resistance. We got TQ is trying to break out of this channel here. Possible reversal here, guys. Watch out. I have my finger on the trigger to sell my puts. Otherwise, I'm not overly worried just because the liquidity test is tomorrow. We got tweezer bottom, reversal to the top side. Let's see if we get rejected here. Not a lot of volume coming in, right? So we have descending volume on the volume side here. Tesla getting rejected off of the blue, playing towards the lower end of this band here. Give me a sec guys. Watch for the breakout, watch for volume pick up. If volume picks up and it breaks above, um, my stop up point is here, which is the top of the triangle. Alright, we're back. So getting rejected here off these levels. Um, not bad, right? Volume kind of picked up over the last candle. Uh, but overall still declining volume here on this move. Uh, so we know it's not a real reverse of the trend, right? We see Tesla still very, very weak. Tesla generally uh, has a very, very large market capitalization in both the TQs, which is the NASDAQ, and the SPY. Mm. AMC falling off here. But as we can see, these spikes are a regular occurrence, right? Once, twice, three times, four times, five times in the past two days. Uh, pretty significant spikes. They're about, what, 20 cents? 30 cents which is a 3% spike and so we know it's just trying to pop the shorts will not be able to hold it down uh, for much longer just because the interest rate is getting so expensive
Good morning, S. J. How are you? We're just wrapping up here. Hello, Phipps, where did you go? There you are. So we broke right into this mossy green uh, area here from this turquoise green, looking really good on this break. Still unable to break and hold above this yellow line on the hourly, right? We're just consolidating right underneath it, which is a good sign. A lot of demand for AMC stock right around 1030. Good, good. No complaints, SJ. We usually uh, trade around 9.30 and we kind of end the day around 10.30 there. Are you just joining us for the first time today? What time is it? 27. Really nice consolidation here. This is the move we always play. Pump, consolidation, pump, consolidation. Blue line catches up. Pump. So, on the SPY, it's trying to bounce, right? We see higher lows on these tailing wicks. Actually, let me include this. So we are forming something like this right now on the SPY. Every time we touch this yellow line, we're, we're starting to bounce. We bounce here, bounce here, bounce here, bounce here, uh, and then right here. So what I would say is this line, which is our previous breakdown, we got this, this nice area here, is no longer in play. We'll leave this here uh, as a reference point for the previous level, uh, but otherwise this yellow line here is the one we're playing off of. So right now it's forming uh, what is known as a bear flag. So it's going to probably consolidate all the way to the tip and then break down. So we're looking at a breakdown at around 11 o'clock. Yeah, sounds good, SJ. I mean, I think... Trading in stocks is probably a skill set that everyone needs to learn because um, pretty much you're, you're basically working for yourself and developing a, a stream of revenue for yourself, uh, which, is, which is something good to have, right? Because you never want to have all of your investments in the same basket. And if you're just working for salary, the minute your, your company goes bankrupt, you're out of a job, right? You no longer have a stream of income. So it's good to have multiple streams of income coming in and trading is kind of one, of one of the better ways to do so. All right, guys, so I'm going to let you guys know what I'm looking for. Woo, that breakdown. Let me see if we're going to bounce off this yellow or we're we just going to break right da back down. Um, let me let you guys know what I'm looking for for the rest of the day. It is 10.29. Uh, looking right now at Tesla playing on the lower band here. We're looking at the SPY. Woo, just broke through this triangle. Uh, we're probably going to see a move to the downside. Uh, 409.29. I'll probably take some profit here. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to hold. If we break above this yellow line here, I'm going to take profit there. This could be my new stop loss. My previous stop loss was this downward line here. Um, but I'm going to take some profit here. If we bounce upwards, it looks like we're getting a pretty big sell off here. Once again, volume is, is trailing off. So. Uh, be careful, we can get a reversal at any time, but we might test this level here today. Um, and liquidity test tomorrow, right? Which means all the funds are going to need to sell off, put some cash in the bank for the liquidity test coming in tomorrow. Otherwise, it seems like a down day for the markets. AMC is still on this upward trend of this yellow line. As long as we're above this yellow line, I'm staying in AMC. Game, still waiting for that blow up, right? Votes are starting to come in for GameStop right now, which means the management and the exec team of GameStop can actually show that GameStop is overly shorted uh, officially, right? 
everyone already knows this, but we really have no official information on it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me today, guys. It's a little bit loud here. I got my dogs going off. My wife is outside with the little one. Um, I'm going to call it a day. This is Mitch from Dumb Money Day Trading signing off for now. I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope you guys made some money, and I hope you guys had fun. I'm going to catch you guys later. See you tomorrow, guys, around 9.15 to 9.20 as we get started every day. Take care, guys. Bye for now.